All right, what is going on guys? Back with another video and today we're gonna be installing the splitter that I unboxed in the last video. Yes, I literally just ended the last video. Don't ask why I made two videos, but I didn't, I didn't want the videos to be too long. Um, I just wanted, wanted to do an overview of the splitter and whatnot, and then I was gonna have this video be the um, like the install, just so you know you ain't gotta skip around. You be like, oh, this video's the install. I'm gonna just watch this video or that video's the overview. I just kind of want to hear him talk about it a little bit. I probably didn't really, really talk about it. I don't remember. That's the Aeroflow Dynamics uh, V2 splitter for the Camaro. No instructions. They prefer you to. Um, how do I say this? Professionally install it. I look very professional myself, so uh, <laughs> let's get it going. Our professional, this is the legendary burnout mechanic shop. We're about to install the splitter on this 2010 coming out. I'm just playing. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm about to start taking off the uh, front bumper. I have no idea how to do this, so we're about to learn together. This install may be a lot harder than I thought. Alrighty, so taking this bumper off is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. But uh, there's like three bolts holding this part in right here. Then there's a couple of bolts at the top, and then there's like two bolts at the bottom. It's not going to take that long, it's just getting to the bolts is the issue. So yeah, I'm going to speed through this real quick, or hopefully speed through it. And then uh, yeah, I'm picking the video up when I get this thing off, hopefully. Alright, after... I'm trying to get this dang bumper off. Finally got it off. And that's what the car looks like without a front bumper. It looks kind of weird, not gonna lie. But uh, now I'm gonna put the splitter on the car. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. Hopefully it doesn't take too damn long. But uh, I gotta drill the holes for the, um, the splitter rods. And uh, I'm gonna do that after I get the splitter on the car so I know where they're gonna line up exactly and how it's gonna look on the car first. Um, or when I get on the bumper, not the car itself. Because if I try to do it on the car, then I'd be, uh, I probably could do it on the car, but either way, we're gonna get this going. Just dirted it up real quick, but oh well. Uh, I've gotta figure out how to install this real quick. And um, yeah, we're gonna go on this journey together. So I'm gonna move the camera over here and figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so it looks like this comes off right here. So I gotta figure out how to get that off real quick. Can the camera see all the way over there? Cause I can't even see myself. And I look beautiful and I wanna see myself. All right, there we go. All right. So yeah, these would just come off real easily by hand, surprisingly. But yeah, whoever at GM decided to say, let's put, let's see, a million screws and hide one to get this bumper off. I hate you, I'm just saying. Cause I gotta do the same thing when I install the new headlights uh, months down the line. I'm not getting those right now, but they're on back order. I try to get them and they're just on back order. They're sold out completely. The um, header should be one of the easiest things I do for this car, honestly. Cause the intake took forever. Is that, I think there's been a rat living inside my car. So yeah, once I take this off, I gotta be extremely careful coming out this driveway because this driveway is very uh, steep. And this used to scrape all the time, and then the bottom of the bumper, it's completely scraped up itself. This can go by much faster if I use my power tools, but I don't feel like getting it right now. For all the work this splitter takes to get on, this thing better to look amazing. I also noticed, there is no opening for air for that cold air intake right down there. At all, like all of this on it, wait, I think. All of this on that side is completely closed off. I could pop out that, um, the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, fog light housing since I don't have one. I don't plan on getting fog lights on for this car either because I like the, like, the covered up black look of it. Um, but if I pop that out, I can get more air easily. More direct air, I should say. The only issue is if it rains. Honestly, I think that thing may be a little bit waterproof too, because uh, a few times that I, like I touched it after driving in the rain, that thing was soaked, and the car never had any issues. Okay. And if you're wondering why I have a uh, two gloves on in this or a glove on this hand, I um, stabbed myself with this thing. All right, so got the little rubber uh, scrape guard off, very scraped up, as you can tell, just from this driveway alone. I'm gonna get the new splitter, <sighs> mock it up, see where it goes. Just throw it on there, like I have no sense. 
Alrighty, so I have the splitter on the cup on the bumper itself. I gotta drill out a few holes um, somewhere up in there in that area. Uh, but so far, like I have the two, the two, um, the two that have the holes already. Um, but the pre-existing holes I already used that are already open. I already put the bolts in for those, and it's only those two right there, just so I can get the uh, bumper to hold itself. Since the bumper is not uniform across, it doesn't stand up. So uh, I laid it down so it doesn't drop when I'm working on it, or it doesn't drop when I walk away to get some more tools. All right, it's definitely twelve. All right, so. Going to get the screwdriver and then zip these in real quick. Make sure they're uh, even, or make sure it's even, because I don't want a <laughs> a front splitter that's not even. That's going to drive me nuts. Alrighty, so I got the two bolts in at, at, at the top, right here on each side. Got those zipped down. Those are tight. Now I'm just going to uh, drill out the uh, hole so I can put the screws in. But yeah, actually, it's really self-explanatory. I just looked at the photo and went based off that since they didn't give any instructions. So yeah, I'm just going really honest. I'm just going off based the photo or based off the photo and just straight knowledge. <laughs> That's it. I don't and I don't know what else to say about that. But yeah, so far it's pretty easy. The hardest part was actually taking off the dang bumper. So I'm just gonna get my oh here we go. I'm gonna get my um, drill bits to uh, drill out the holes. Not sure what size they need. Not sure that it matters either. You know, they say they recommend it being professionally installed. I don't see why. I really don't. Maybe the drilling, but that's the only thing I can think of. But other than that, I really don't see why they want this professionally installed. I probably found it the hard way, maybe. Alrighty, so I started drilling into the splitter to get the splitter rods on right there. And I don't think my drill is strong enough. Uh, <laughs> it didn't even make it through. It started going through a little bit. Uh, I may have the wrong drill bits. Um, actually, I'm not even sure what my drill bits are intentionally made for. Let me see. Brick, block, and other manasauri items. So that's why it's not going through. These are made for bricks. <laughs> but, um, well, I, it went through my trunk, and my trunk is not aluminum, actually. Never mind. But that stuff is it's thick. It is very thick. So uh, I'm trying to figure out if I can just get somehow get it to go in or use a center punch. I'm pretty sure a center punch won't work either because that when I tell you that thing is thick, that thing is thick. Like good God, it's oof. Thinking of my girlfriend. <laughs> illegal to run without a front bumper but I really don't feel like putting that back on and then coming back tomorrow and having to take it all off again so uh that may be the issue <laughs> that I have to run into because I'm running out of daylight and that drill sucks Actually, I think I'm just going to put it on and then turn me installing the splitter rods into a separate video because this is just going to take too long. I may try again tomorrow, tomorrow morning, like early in the morning. Uh, but other than that, I think this video is done because I can't get through that. <laughs> Man, that thing is a lot thicker than I thought it was. It started going through. It's, it's almost there. It's just it's whatever that middle. Like, I know it's all aluminum, but that middle section is the strongest and it's just not pushing through. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it one more go. Uh, but other than that, I gotta get my car back together so I can go to work. <laughs> Unless I just leave my car apart and then try again later. I'll probably just leave my car apart and have somebody bring me to work. I don't know, we'll see.
we have success. I literally just got it through. Didn't record it because I wasn't expecting it to go through. But yeah, I literally just got it to go through. So I'm going to step it up a little bit and use a bigger drill bit. And then we're going to be done with this. I got to do the other side, but you know me. freakers in there let's take this little thing so that one is not completely in there yet it's just sitting there but man does that look good so far good lord okay so yeah i'm gonna do the other one off camera I'm trying to hair up and do this because i gotta be working like a few minutes i probably won't be able to have enough time to put the whole car back together so i'll probably just have somebody take me to work anywho uh yeah so yeah let's me i'm just gonna time lapse this real quick and yeah, we're we're almost done with this. All right, so we're back. It's the next day, and I finished putting everything back together. I couldn't get it on video because I was in like a time crunch, but it was literally the same thing that I showed on video, just taking it off. Well, I didn't really even show it on video because it took so long. It took me like two hours just to get the bumper off, but it took me like 30 minutes or so to put the bumper back on. Now, some boats aren't as tight as they could be because of the, just the space and the clearance and whatnot, which is retarded. There's literally two bolts on each side at the very top to where you can barely even get your hands in there, let alone a freaking tool. So, uh, yeah, looks like this body gap is, I need to fix that body gap. So I may have to go back in and readjust it a little bit. But um, this is what it looks like. Now, I want to readjust the front because like the front is like sloped up a little bit. And I don't like that at all. Now, I know in a picture it, it shows that it's sloped up in the picture as well. But I kind of want it to be a little bit more level. Like, if it was down just a little bit more, that would be totally fine with me. Even if it was still slipped up, if it was just down just a tiny bit, that would be fine. Uh, but to fix that, I probably had to put just put uh, longer spacers in between the uh, bumper and the splitter, like these things right here. I don't know. I'm going to try loosening up the bolts and see if it drops down. If it drops down, then I'm just going to put longer spacers in there. Uh, but, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, and I also got the splitter rods on. I don't remember if I said that on video. But yeah, I got the splitter rods on. I should have did red to make it stand out. But the blue looks really good. It's just hard to see at, at you know, certain angles and stuff like that. Alrighty, so I adjusted the splitter rods and I loosened the bolts at the bottom. And it looks a lot better. Um, if I can see, it's still sloped up. Obviously, you can see like it's still sloped up, but it's a lot further down than what it originally was. And so that's good for me good enough for me because at first it was literally just like eh. <laughs> but yeah that looks so much better uh as it sits right now even from the front it just looks mean it looks aggressive um if i could come down a little bit more but i just probably have to put like bigger spacers in between that and i probably will do that off camera just because it takes a little bit for me to get my big hands in between the goddamn uh grill because i really don't feel like taking this whole bumper off just to do that again but yeah, if I put bigger spaces, that should work. I loosened it up and it dropped down a little bit and I just uh, lengthened the splitter rods up a little bit so it just pushes it down more. But yeah, that looks so good. It looks good. It looks mean, it looks aggressive. I like it. I wanna put something like white right here so where it stands out, just like they have it on the picture on the uh, website, but I don't wanna put Legendary Burnout anywhere else on this car because I have it almost, or I have, yeah, I have it pretty much almost everywhere. Like I have it on the sides, I have it on the uh, back. I mean, I could put it on the front, just like I say, I have it on the front, but who knows? You probably, you guys will probably see it in the next video if I do decide to put Legendary Burnout right there. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I'll give you guys a quick compilation, some cinematic views and stuff like that. Oh yeah, also, <laughs> I gotta get a touch of paint, more touch of paint, because the last person who had the car, they had touch of paint on this car. So uh, yeah, I just gotta get more touch of paint for that. Like, you can even see right here, touch of paint, touch up paint, touch up paint. Uh, where else? But yeah, I just gotta get some touch-up paint, really, for that. Um, I may even have it, like, get repainted or whatnot, because the whole bumper just needs to be repainted. But, uh, yeah, other than that, it looks really good. Like, the splitter rods look amazing. I'm surprised at how even it came out, being that, uh, I kind of, like, eyeballed it. I didn't even, like, I, I measured it. 
but uh, I measured the bottom ones. But when I did the top ones, I kind of just eyeballed it and just sent them through. <laughs> but yeah, it looks good. Like the lighting is not the best right now, but still looks really good.